welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have a hopefully quick update for Pi or hashtag Pi, Pan and Everything. This is a project that I created um, because I do a lot of painting projects and I have a lot of my collection that just sits and I don't, um, I don't use it. Some things are brand new and um, I really want my collection to look like I've used it and loved it a whole lot. So that was the inspiration for this project. Um, anyone that wants to join in, by all means, join in. Um, this is something that I, I had wanted to do for a long time. Talked it over with my girl Amanda. She, you know, helped me uh, come up with some like specific rules and everything, which there's like floaty things in here. Um, so, you know, it's really not that difficult. It is legitimately like it sounds. I am trying to hit pan in anything in my collection that is makeup. Um, and you know, I, I would like to have everything look well loved, well used, and um, lots of pan. If it has a jar, you know, hit the bottom of the jar, that kind of dealio. That's, that's the whole premise of it. It's pretty simple. Pan in everything. So, um, we're doing, like, I'm doing five at a time because um, that's just like a good number for me to work on. It can be one thing, it can be 10 things, it can be 20 things. It's really whatever um, you choose to do. Anyone is welcome to join in. And um, yeah, th that's a, a long, long way to say, um, get on with Jessica. I don't have empties per se, but I do have some pans to show you this update. Of the five, I actually have four pans. It's been a while since I've updated, so don't get too excited. It has been a while. So I'm going to show you what I hit pan on. I have two eyeshadows that are from e.l.f., um, a depotted quad. I want to say it was the happy hour quad. And I had these two that I wanted to hit pan on. I got tiny baby pan right here and have nice pan right there. So those are getting rolled out and I will roll something else in. Always nice to hit pan on an eyeshadow. Even nicer when you hit it the day before you film. This is Shammy or Shamois Nude from um, Coastal Scents Hot Pots. I have some nice pan there. I don't know if you can tell, it is pretty thin right around where that pan is. So whenever I pick this up or put it in another project, that pan is going to expand very quickly. So I'm very proud of myself for that one. Three eyeshadows with pan. Yay me. Um, the last one is a potted lipstick. This is from the Jane Iredale palette, like their medium sampler palette. Um, it's, you know, a nice lipstick. It's not amazing. It's not bad. It's just potted lipstick, which I don't prefer my things potted, but yeah, it was worth it to uh, have something else that I have pan on. It, it's kind of nice when you look through your collection and you see pan, little, like little specks of silver all over like glitter. So I have four pans that um, I need to replace, which I will in a moment. I have one product that I don't have pan in, and the reason I don't have pan in it is because I didn't touch it at all, not even once since the last update. It is Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. Still looks exactly the same. It does have a dip in it, but it's not because I put it there since the last update. Um, hopefully, hopefully I will get some usage out of this. I think part of the reason I haven't um, used this, one is because um, I, for three months I pretty much didn't wear makeup between everything that was going on in my life, my surgeries and everything. Um, I just, I wasn't up to wearing makeup and it was horribly hot here and um, I am also trying to finish what I have on my lids which is um, Cafe Olay from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette so um, I would use this in the same place that I would use this so I've been you know prioritizing the other eyeshadow so um, I'm not going to promise that I'm going to touch this a whole lot in the next month but it's going to stay in the project this is a rolling ongoing project it is a forever project um, you, you do it as long as you want to, and when you don't feel like doing it anymore, you just stop. So um, I'm going to be doing it a while because I really want usage throughout my collection. So don't know what's going to happen with this over the next month, but eh, we'll see. All right, this piece of hair right here is driving me bonkers. Um, all right, so I need to bring in four things. And um, 
ironically, I am bringing in three eyeshadows. Since I hit pan on three eyeshadows, I'm bringing in three more because I'm crazy. And I'm bringing in um, another potted cream product from a depotted palette. All right, I'm going to start with that one first. This is a concealer. It is from the Profusion Eyes palette from, I'm going to say like five years ago, six years ago. I don't even remember. I got it, um, I got it as PR and um, yeah, I, I don't even remember what year I got it. I probably could scroll through my Instagram and find it, but does it really matter? No. So I just want to hit pan on this. It is a pretty shallow pan, so I'm not super worried about that. Um, I might. I might have pan next update if not the one after so I think that one's gonna be pretty quick to hit pan on all right let's get into the eyeshadows I have another coastal sense hot pot this is in cloud white and I'm bringing this in because I want adjust camera um, I want to get through some of the darker shadows that I have in other projects so I'm thinking you know tap a little of this tap a little of the darker one to kind of lighten it and make it a little bit more wearable in theory, I'm going to try it, um, see how that goes, and who knows, who knows how, how fast I can hit pan on. This next eyeshadow I have been wanting to put in since like the beginning of the year. I really wanted to put it in my Beauty A to Z, but I just somehow couldn't work it in. This is from the Be A Bombshell Bora Bora palette. Um, tons of people got this like years ago in an Ipsy bag. Yeah, I've had it that long. Um, so yeah, I just want to hit pan on this. I love the color and I've really been wanting to work on it. So I'm happy to finally have it in here. And the last one is probably going to be a strange one to put in here. It is a ColourPop Jelly Much. This is in No Rest for the Vivid. It is so incredibly pretty, but it, it is definitely getting more firm. And I just want to be able to hit pan on that um, before it dries out. I've heard that these dry out very quickly. So I want to hit pan on that bad boy and I have a feeling since um, Partners in Cream is coming back next year, this is probably, if I have pan on it, I'm probably going to end up putting this in Partners in Cream next year. So we will see how that goes and um, I get to play because that's such a pretty color. I should swatch it for you because, you know, it really is so pretty. And I'm throwing things. Don't mind me. I'm just going to throw things into my lap. Oh, yeah. It's definitely getting much more firm now. Ooh, but look at that color. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And let me swatch the um, one from the Be A Bombshell Bore Bore palette. They're, they're such summer colors, which is sad that we're going into fall. And these scream summer to me. And white. I mean, do I really need to swatch the white? I might as well. Since we're here, it is just a matte white. So that is what I'm working with. Let me get a tissue to wipe this off of my fingers. Um, so yeah, I have hit pan on 13 things so far in this calendar year, which is amazing considering, um, yeah, 2020 was a dumpster fire. And um, yeah, I still managed to hit pan on 13 things. Hopefully, we can have at least a few more things before the end of the year that have some love, AKA pans. So that is everything. Um, I am going to have um, a list. I'm pretty sure I have a list of the original collaborators down there. So we started with like a, a handful of wonderful ladies um, and people have joined in, which I think is awesome. And if you want to join in, by all means, join in. We'd love to have you and uh, get to pan in because you know, we need something good to come out of this year. Speaking of something good, the dog is here. I will have a video for him, but he's, he just got here. So he's a little camera shy at the moment. So be on the lookout for that in the next week or so as he feels a little bit more comfortable. And yeah, that is it. All right, wrapping this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.